Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Boston. I'm here for the 128th Boston Marathon in a couple of days. I am beyond excited, potentially, hopefully, I'm sure we will be completing my fifth ever major on Monday. My first Boston, the nerves and the excitement are building so, so much. Just absolutely pumped to be taking part in this legendary race, one of the most famous running races anywhere in the world. Here we've got an action-packed video for you coming up today. We're gonna to be going to the expo, talking about my kit, we've got a big shakeout run to go to, and of course, all my goals and expectations for the race but for now it's Saturday morning I've just keyed in a 10k run into my watch and we're heading out for a little shakeout jog we got here quite late last night I'm a little bit jet lagged but overall super excited for this and thank you guys you make this all possible for me to come and run races like this but thank you so much we'll catch up out on the run That is the run done. 10K, 44 minutes. A little bit faster, but we did have a few GPS issues with all the tall buildings around here, so probably more like 45 minutes. Let's uh, have a quick shower and get up to the expo. I really enjoyed that. What a lovely place to run. Right guys, here we go. We made it down to the expo. Super excited to pick up my number. I've been dreaming of this for so many years. I've been taking my running seriously for, I don't know, about 10 years or so. And yeah, I've run quite a few big queues over the years, but it's never really panned out to actually get here and come and pick up my number and run the race. I'm just gonna get my phone out and just see what number I am. We are 1008. Right. Oh, we're right here. Let's go and have a look. Hiya. How are you doing? Good. Here's your runner's bag. Thank you. All right. Cool. Congratulations for your first marathon. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. We just heading through all the merch area now at the moment. It's just absolutely crazy, uh, but a little bit overpriced for us. The jackets are $120. Uh, oh, we don't want to go to the checkout, we're not buying anything. If you don't know about Boston, to get into the marathon, I, I actually don't even know what race I use to get in, but you have to run a qualifying time. So about four fifths, about sort of 80% of the field will have run that qualifying time to get into the race. For people in like 18 to 35 men, you've got to run a sub three hour and then go a little bit faster than that as well. Because it's just the fastest, around about 30, 35,000 people that do the race that actually sort of get in. And uh, yeah, the other sort of fifth of people are all sorts of like sponsor places or people doing international tour operating places and that sort of thing. So you don't have to technically run the BQ time, but Myers, you kind of should do really kind of, it's what it's all about, running your BQ and coming here to celebrate. Sarah, now you're on this side of me, you can speak into the microphone. How excited are you for the London Marathon Expo next weekend? Yes, I'm very excited. I know that doesn't sound like I am, but I am excited. You've got the contrast of me and Sarah. But uh, yeah, we'll be at London Marathon Expo next weekend. Uh, we've got a stand there, so next we'll be week, next, next whole week. Next whole week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we've got a stand there with all of our running hats and our tops and our gear and all of that sort of stuff. Loads of you guys are going to come down, hopefully, and say hello. <laughs> Let us know if you're going to be there. Uh, stand F82, I think. We're really nervous about it. Never done anything like this before. We've only ever sold online. It's our first ever like in-person thing. Really looking forward to it, and uh, yeah, can't wait to see you guys there. So on this massive board behind me is a list of six star finishers. I'll hopefully be joining them soon. Um, I've, uh, if I finish Boston, I don't know why I keep saying that. I'm sure we'll finish Boston on Monday, but uh, you never know with me, let's be honest. Um, then I'll only have Tokyo to do, which we may try and do next year. I have got in touch with a couple of the travel companies. I've tried to get in so many times, just one of those things. It's all a bit complicated, I don't really know, but I am hopefully 
going to be trying my absolute utmost to get into Tokyo Marathon next year so we can finish it off and get my six star finish. But probably before it goes to seven stars, um, and then we'll have to go to Sydney to finish that one off. Everyone getting their Norma Tech legs done, getting nice and recovered before Monday. It keeps seeming see, so weird to say the race is on Monday, but yeah, Patriots Day in Boston. Um, the th I think it's always the third weekend in April. It's always on the Monday. It's always on this special day. Well, guys, we're heading away from the expo now. That is all done. And then we're just going to head out up the road here. So you might be seeing behind me because that is the finish line of the Boston Marathon. But we will be on uh, Monday. So, yeah, really excited for that. Anyway. Awesome. I'm sorry I messed cool. up your uh, recording there. No worries. Good luck. Take Good care. luck. We've got the uh, Cybertruck just on display just over here. I actually saw one this morning on my on my run. Haven't seen any of those in the UK. They're not coming to the UK anyway, but uh, as a car fanatic, probably one of my biggest hobbies, it's uh, quite nice to see my first Cybertruck. Right, walking back through the finish line. What is going to be on the clock when we cross that? Well, I don't know. I have, I'll get my excuses out of the way first, but I had about five weeks off running in February with a hamstring like strain, which was really rubbish. So I haven't really done any workouts this year. My mileage has been all right, but right here, right now, apart from rolling my ankle a bit this morning on this morning's run, um, we're kind of okay. So I'll take anything under sub 250. It will be a really good run. I'm here just to have a laugh, make a good video, experience Heartbreak Hill, and just experience the magic of the race. All my big training will be focused on Valencia at the end of the year. Just want to have an amazing experience out there. So yeah, sub 250, happy days with that. I'll set off a little bit faster and just see, see how we go. But I've really got no idea, to be honest, because I haven't been doing any uh, proper long workouts. My longest run so far this year is about 25K. So yeah, we'll see. We're going to go and grab some lunch and we'll see you in the morning for the shakeout run. Really looking forward to that. But yeah, I need to get some uh, good fuel inside. Those Newton Hills, Heartbreak Hill, I'm not going to get up that alone. So we need to get some good fuel in to these legs for the next couple of days. So yeah, I hope you followed, enjoyed for a long day. And we'll see you bright and early in the morning for the shakeout. Thanks everybody for coming out today. I don't know how many people we've got. It looks like a couple of hundred are absolutely amazing. Super pumped for tomorrow. Alright, a shake out done. Thank you so much to everyone that came down. Just blown away by the number of people that came out to uh, say hello to myself, Sarah, and Eric as well. Uh, we'll link Eric's YouTube channel down below. That uh, YouTuber that is massively on the rise at the moment, creating some awesome running content. So go and check out his channel. And yeah, weather looking really good for tomorrow. Nice tailwind. Maybe a smidge on the warm side, but we'll see. But now we're going to head back to the hotel and uh, go and uh, have a chat about it with the kit I'm wearing and wrap up this video. Well guys, it's just starting to get everything ready for race day. It's about two o'clock on Saturday now, and uh, yeah, we need to get this vlog uploaded. They're gonna get it wrapped up. If you wanna follow me on the tracking, then that's my number there. In terms of kit for the race day, just gonna go with the Nike Vaporfly version three, my old trusty ones. Now I have got the new ASICS Metaspeed Sky Pat and 
Edge Sky Edition in now. So we test those out next week. I really want to use that shoe for some of my upcoming races, but I have, just haven't had enough time to put in enough miles in that. So maybe using that in London next week. Depends how much training I can do next week because we've got so much. Uh, just going to be using the Source Singlet. Finally, I get to race in this version of the Source Singlet. We've sold out of it twice now and I haven't even managed to run in it myself yet. So uh, yeah, really cool new design. Uh, check it out, but there won't be much left on the website soon. Just managed to go and pick up some bagels and jam for my breakfast. No toaster though in the hotel, so gonna be <laughs> just a bit odd having that combo, but that's it. And finally guys, best of luck if you are racing Boston. If you're already racing love Boston, let me know how you got on down in the comments. And yeah, if you ran Manchester or Rotterdam today, then yeah, let us know how you get on. It's always great to uh, catch up. So for myself and Sarah, who's editing this, uh, this vlog as I speak, uh, yeah, hope everything's well with you and we'll see you very, very soon. Best of luck, keep on working hard, guys. Keep on getting done and we'll see you in the next one.